we're gonna try this again <laughs> um welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back to see a girl i appreciate you if you know me if you do not recognize this face right here my bad my name is latrice nice to meet you and this right here is faith by latrice yes where faith is the muscle we exercise around here now let's get on into this no dilly dallying on this here tuesday huh now in this devotional it says it's entitled he will give you victory and it's from Deuteronomy 23 to 4. It says, listen to me, all you men of Israel, do not be afraid as you go out to fight your enemies today. Do not lose heart or panic or tremble before them. For the Lord your God is going with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. He will fight for you against your enemies and he will give you victory. It talks about us having enemies when we're kids, right? Maybe somebody took our marker. Maybe somebody got the part of a play that we wanted and we didn't get it. They got it. And it was saying those types of enemies are amusing, right? But then it says, we do have an enemy though. And he would like nothing more than to steal our joy and assure our defeat. His weapons, jealousy, insecurity, and vanity, just to name a few. Now, the first two got me because I was like, I've been subject to those two weapons. Mm -hmm. Absolutely have felt jealousy and absolutely have felt insecurity. Usually in this, both at the same time. Okay. Now I'm a king's kid. I know this. I'm, a, I'm aware of this. I'm, a sure, I'm sure of this thing, right? That God loves me and he calls me things that are not normal, right? Peculiar, beloved, all the things. Worthy, all of those things, right? <clears throat> and I think about this jealousy and insecurity thing of our enemy. The devil, Satan, whatever you want to call him. And I'm like, wait a minute now. First and foremost, the Bible says in 2 Timothy that God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind follow me he don't give us god does not give us a spirit of fear nor does he give us the spirit of jealousy and insecurity huh okay god steadily repeats in this little tattered book i got all of the things that we are and how he sees us so not just so he knows not because he just wants to repeat himself but so that we know who we are in Christ. We know who we are as a person. We know who we are inside before we step out into the world, before we step outside to go to work, to go to the breakfast shop, to go wherever, to go meet people, to go see other human beings outside. Know who you are before you leave the house. Because guess what? El tema de hoy. That's not you. That's not you. That is not you. Let me tell you something else. The scripture that it came to me was the fruit of the spirit. Where is that? That's in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Okay. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with his passions. All that. Moral of the story. The enemy to your destiny, to your life. Who does not want you to succeed in all that you are in Christ. Wants to just subtly put this little jealousy and insecurity and make you think it's yours. It's not yours. It's not. It's not you. Oh God, It's not you. Listen to me. It's not you. I don't care how strong it feels. Because I've experienced some jealousy some insecurity both at the same time and it felt so strong like oh my god i hate that i'm this way but it's not me i have to reject that because it's not me it's not mine that's it go on about your business okay happy tuesday i hope you have a wonderful day see nadie te ha dicho hoy esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo if nobody has told you today yes you watch me right now i love you because listen i be lifing but guess what we are going to prosper regardless catch you on the flip side bye